Um, my heart is saying I'm going to allow you to ask your question, step up and ask your question, and that will be the last question. Hey, Mo, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to. I've got to. I've got to leave. I, we had to stop at 7:15. Okay. So All right. Well, would, if you would write your question down, we'll get it to the candidates. You I'll as well. I'll stay and oh. listen to your question. If okay, you, you can if ask you after. Want to convey. Do you have time? For, do you want to make a closing statement Excuse real quick me. as you walk out? Excuse me. Before you leave, may I read? Before you leave. Okay, let's remember to be respectful of I everybody, am. please. You was not going to let me ask my question. Oh, okay. So um, I'm asking him before you leave, okay? Before you leave. My name is Bertha. My husband is Robert Darden. We are the last homes, the last house, I put it like that, of the flood victims that you called us in 2013. And you came out in a Winnebago to address the flood victims, to assure us that we would not have to leave our homes, we would not have to move out of our homes, and we would not be displaced. Those are the words that came out of your mouth to me and my husband, 30 years retired citizen of the city of Atlanta. And you told us, point blank, and I said, Mayor Reed, you said we would not have to move out of our home. And I said, I'm going to hold you to that. I said, I'm going to hold you to that. I did just like I'm doing now. I said, I'm going to hold you to that. Mayor Reed, few years later, we get letters saying, we want to buy your house. I said, buy the house? You just told us we didn't have to move out of our house. Tanya Washington house never flooded. But our house basement flooded. And you said we'll never have to move. And then we get sued. The code inspectors come out trying to find fault to condemn our house. To force us saying that if this is not done, this is not done, and that is not done. They're going to charge us $200 a day until it's done, or else within 30 days, you will be evicted under your administration. Now, Mayor, I trusted you. I voted for you when you was mayor. And then for your administration to come in our community to force families out of their homes by using eminent domain. And then come to find out after they, after we went to court, they withheld evidence that we could have used to resolve it, but then sent the documents after the city ruled in favor of taking our home. Took a name off the deeds to our home. And here we are, seniors. Where are we gonna live? Where are we going to stay? But you told us we didn't have to move out of our home. You was working on a short-term and long-term plan. That's what you told us. And then your engineers lied. Lied. They lied in court. They lied in court. Your engineers lied in court. Because we hired an engineer, 40-year experience engineer. Went through those documents, find the evidence under your administration. So Kasim Reed, I want to know why you're trying to get back in office again? To lie some more? To lie some more? Because we have heard all the lies we can from you and your administration. And it's not right. And it's not right. Thank and you. it's not right. And like I told yes. you before, when in this case, it's going to be divine exposure for you. And my question is, what you gonna do now? The notion that I didn't respond to Ms. Darden um, isn't true. I mean, I immediately apologized from my heart, but it's extraordinary to be a black man that's being attacked by making a $65 million investment in People's Town that no one else in the history of the city had ever made. People's Town had been routinely flooded. Homes were destroyed. And I made the biggest investment in the history of the city to stop flooding. 
And out of the 20 families that were impacted, um, three we could not come to an agreement with. And under the law, I was capped by how much I could pay. So under Georgia law, um, you pay, you can pay 20% over appraised value. And that's what I did for the Darden family. I offered that multiple times. Um, and we couldn't come to an agreement despite my best efforts. But that uh, resolution and ordinance was passed unanimously. Because when you're mayor of a city, you have to make the decision that's best for the most folks. And since the early 1900s, that community had been flooded out. And council agreed unanimously that we needed to provide $65 million in infrastructure improvements. And because of that, People's Town is now a stable community. That said, you know, my heart is definitely impacted because I understand that real people are on the other side of that issue, but I tried to pay them the most money that I legally could. And so that's not being hard-hearted, that's not not caring. Um, and so if I am fortunate to be, be fortunate enough to be elected mayor again, I'm gonna do everything in my power legally that we can do to make it right and address how they're feeling. I don't want them hurt. But be clear, the maximum I could do was 100% of the appraised value plus 20% over that, which is what we did for the overwhelming number of families who were very satisfied. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And Thank Mayor, you. we have Univision.